All right, here we go. Off to trade in the Outlander 650 for a Grizzly 700.
anyways, yeah, 10 out the door is not so bad. This one's going to be more because as of right now, I believe the Yamaha Grizzly XTR MSRP is, is it 11? 11, 11 I believe. Tax is cheaper in the state I'm going to. Plus, they're going to cut, they're going to cut the top. They're going to cut one. They're going to give me $8,500 for this uh, four-wheeler for my Can-Am. And that's going to come off the top, which is also going to knock another $400 in taxes off. So, uh, I'm basically getting 9 for this one, and I bought it for 10 So, I think the uh, $1,000 for the year and a half I've used it and had so many good times on it. <laughs> I think that's a cheap price. I mean, I think that's a no-brainer to me. I mean, I only lost a thousand dollars after using it for. Uh, I think I got 1,100 miles on it, something like that, 117 hours. But I've also taken care of it. It's garage kept. Uh, you know, I put the brush guard on it, the winch. Uh, I got the. Uh, Kind of what I consider a stealth snorkel. The snorkel comes up to the pod, or the, the CVT exhaust comes up to the pod with the with the uh, CVT intake and the engine intake. So everything's right there at the handlebars, which I like. Uh, but the plastics too. I, I think I mis mentioned it in my my horrible first review. The the plastics are not painted on the DPS. They uh, when I first bought it, it had it was like super shiny, it had this gloss on it. But you can just run your fingernail across it sideways, just barely touching it. And you see a scratch go across it because it was taking off that glossy coating. And as of now, most of that glossy coating is gone. The painted plastic, like the ones on the Kodiak, it has that uh, that matte black. I don't know what, what sort of paint it is or what, but it is uh, very resistant to scratches and even mud and stuff. It's just easier to clean up. But yeah, there's there's a lot of things. If I was ever gonna upgrade, I'd be upgrading to like a 800 class or something. But I don't think I need that power. I, I, with this one, you know, the wheels have never stopped churning. Uh, no matter what, they will always spin. You can do donuts on the pavement. You know, that's plenty of power for me. I know I'm gonna lose power, but it has that 700 has a certain grunt to it. I think where I think if you got the 700 stuck a point where your tires aren't turning I think the 650 would still be able to turn those tires it's a 700 uh, it's just a, it's a single it works differently it's only one cylinder just pumping down one 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 where I explained it to my wife it's like riding a bicycle with one pedal uh, you ride it with two pedals it's like a twin cylinder where you're pushing and rolling and it just it keeps the power engaged at all times feels different. Feels like a jet ski to me. It's kind of bittersweet, you know. I'm really excited about having a Grizzly. I'm not going to buy another four-wheeler, you know, or upgrade for a while. So I think this one will last until something major comes along. You know, there's a lot of talk about electric Looks like we found the place. What kind of fun toys out here? Well, y'all, the deal is done. There she is. Seriously, 700 XTR.